What is going on everybody? It is Kyle here from River Rock and today actually I just want to take a minute to say if you really like these videos put a comment down in the description. I'm not really doing these for maybe just for my own purposes. I don't really know. Just kind of for fun. I'm finishing this basement here. I think it's kind of fun just to document a little bit some of the tools I buy really what's going on. Uh, so today what I'm going to be talking about is this uh, Milwaukee uh, M18 fuel um, brad nail or finish nail or something shoots 15 gauge nails. I know they make an 18 gauge model. Um, I went with a 15 gauge because I'm putting up this knotty pine. Uh, I got this right here. You see this? I'm putting up this knotty pine. It's tongue and groove on the ceiling in this bedroom and in the living room, and it's really some nice stuff. And, wanted to make sure it's up really well, so I'm doing some gluing, gluing every other stud or something like that. Then I'm putting these nails inside of the tongue, and it's really working out perfectly. So, and I put up this entire ceiling, I think I shot three or four hundred nails. I used a 9.0 battery, didn't even use one bar. This nailer is probably hands down my favorite tool. I like this belt hook they have on it, but I wish they had a rafter hook on it, and here's why, because it's it's so hard to keep up on a ladder. You know, I don't want to hang it from my belt all the time as I'm walking down the ladder. But if I just need to run down the ladder for something real quick, it'd be really handy to have a rafter hook on this thing. And I really think that that's something they should add. I know they have it on their framers. I do want to pick up one of their framers. They look really nice. I've heard great things about them. And uh, right now I'm just shooting these, I believe they're two inch DeWalt, DeWalt brand 15 gauge nails. They worked out perfectly for this thing. And um, I'm just gonna, I got a couple two by fours here. I'll shoot some nails into it. And I got this 6 0 high output battery. I don't know, I got this at Home Depot the same time I bought this. I obviously have plenty of other Milwaukee tools. I'm kind of a fanboy. I'm not really sure why. It's just the first brand I ever had. I really like them. So uh, actually, I'm gonna come closer and I'll show you some of the loads. So here's the nailer. Uh, it's really nice, really uh, compact, and uh, here's how you turn it on. Uh, you just hold this, and bam, it's on, and it's ready to fire now, like one nail at a time. If you press this button right here, this is blinking, that means it's ready to bump fire, which is you squeeze the trigger and just push down. That's the safety knob here. Also, I wanted to point out, this is rubberized, very nice, I really do like it. And um, I think that's about it. So I'm going to shoot some nails now with it. I'm going to switch it back here into just single fire mode just so I can show you guys. Obviously it's adjusted really high, so it's obviously blowing right through this pine here. It's got this little knob right here on the side you can twist to adjust. I'll adjust it out a little bit. And you can just keep adjusting it out more. I add it up pretty high. See there, and now it just sinks it just below the surface there. Yep, perfect right there. You can just dial it in just nice and simple, just like that. That's one of the things I really like about this. It's really easy to adjust. Now I can go about nailing all my boards. Now I'm going to switch it into this uh, other fire mode, this bump fire mode, and I'll just fire a few for you. Now, uh, this being a trim nailer, I don't think you'd ever have to nail that fast, but it does keep up if you ever wanted to. There's a couple that aren't sunk, but I think that's just because I have it adjusted all the way out. Yeah, I have it on the most shallow setting there. And uh, so yeah, I've really sunk those nails nice. These are stuck together, which is obviously, you wouldn't want to stick two two by fours together with these finished nails, but just for the purposes of this video, that's what I'm doing. And now just for kind of fun, I have this piece of metal here. It's supposed to be like a corner piece for a drywall. I uh, bent it flat, and I'm just going to nail it to this, see what happens. I've never done it before, so. You can see there, it just nailed it right through, sunk them just as deep. Uh, so it sunk them right through that. I know it's really thin metal, it's not much of a thing. 
but they claim that this will sink wood right through oak. I don't have any oak, but I'm going to take their word for it. This thing's really great. Now, if there's one thing, one thing I could complain about on this thing is it doesn't stand up. Like, I want to just throw it out a little bit like this, it falls right down every time. You have to set it like this. So, like, I want to just set it on the floor, can't do it. It's, uh, I do wish it could stand up on its own. That's like the one gripe I have about it. Other than that, great nailer. 10 out of 10 recommend. Want the rafter hook on it. Wish it could stand up. Other than that, this is the best one I've ever used. It's better than any nail, air nailer. It sinks on perfect every time, depending on how you have it adjusted. Rapid fire mode. I don't know why you would need that as a trim nailer, but you never know. And I will definitely be picking up the framer and I might put out a video about that. I don't know. But if you like what you see here, I'll kind of inlay some clips of me doing this knotty pine. Might make a separate video of that, I'm not sure yet, but uh, so I'll kind of throw in a couple of those videos of me doing that in the middle of this video or something. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but if you like what you see, I kind of like talking about this, so if you like what you see, you want to see more Milwaukee tools. I love Milwaukee, I got almost all their tools. Um, definitely comment or whatever you need to do, let me know. I really like to see their, I really like talking about their tools. I like buying them. So if I could have an excuse to buy them, that'd be great. So like this video and subscribe. Thank you.